welcome to Vedic Perspectives podcast series. In this podcast series, we discuss ancient Indian Vedic science and management lessons around technology, circularity and sustainability. Today's topic, how weather reflects divinity of nature. The Vedic Aryans were natural children. They meticulously studied nature's drama, sandstorms and cyclones, intense lightning, tremendous thunderclaps, the monsoon's heavy rush of rain, the swift flood in the stream that flows down from the hills, the scorching heat of the sun, the cracking red flames of the fire, all bear witness to power beyond man's control. The Vedic sages recognized the power of these forces. They were enthralled by these activities. They valued these forces. They prayed to them out of respect, surprise, and fear. They intuitively understood that natural action, movement, creation, change, and destruction are the result of forces beyond man's control. As a result, they ascribe divinity to nature. Rigvedic hymns are divided into several categories, the most important of which are natural hymns, which are hymns about natural forces. Despite the fact that Vedic gods are explained differently by Indian and Western scholars, the hymns addressed to deities are influenced by nature's most impressive phenomenon, and its aspects. The water means divine, dignity that is bright, strong, giver, and powerful. These hymns contain prayers for various natural elements such as air, water, earth, sun, rain, dawn, and so on. The glorious brightness of the sun, the blaze of the sacrificial fire, the sweep of the rainstorm across the skies, the recurrence of dawn, the steady currents of the winds, the ferocity of the tropical storm, and other such natural energies, fundamental activities, or aspects are glorified and personified as divinities. The interaction with nature resulted in admiration and prayer, but only after much observation. The attributes assigned to deities correspond to their natural forms and activities, such as Soma being green, fire being bright, air being fast moving, and the sun being a dispenser of darkness. The characteristics of these forces described in the verses demonstrate that Vedic seers were natural science masters. According to Vedic philosophy, this world is made up of Agni or fire or heat and Soma or water. Sun or Surya is the soul of all that moves and all that does not move. Indra is the most powerful god, and he kills Vritra, the cloud symbol, in order to free the waters. Vritra is derived from the root Vrai, which means to cover. According to many scholars, Indra is the primary force of expansion in Vedic cosmology, and Vritra is the primary force of contraction. Indra's associates are known as Marats. Vedic seers boldly pray to these natural forces and aspects for abundance and prosperity. Aditi is revered as Divamata, the mother of all natural energies, and she represents nature. Though the hymns describe a large number of gods and it is difficult to categorize them, Yaska in his Narakta mentions three gods, Agni in the earth, Vayu or Indra in the atmosphere, and Sun in heaven. Each of them has a different name depending on the actions they perform. These three gods represent three major types of energy, fire on earth, air in the intermediate region, and light in the upper region. Other energies in those areas are related to or beneath them. So, in general, gods are divided into three categories, upper, middle, and lower, and this provides a framework for studying the atmosphere and its various aspects. In terms of global harmony, Vedic seers constantly pray for the well-being of all creatures and all regions. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash at sb.school.